guys, what's up? It's Angelina and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Angelina Serena XO. I attend the University of South Florida, Go Bulls. I am currently on a pre-med track and so you can guess that I take a lot of pre-med courses. I'm going into my junior year but I'm supposed to be graduating early so technically it's like my junior senior year it's really weird but anyways I thought what a better time to make this video than right now it's currently the summertime as I'm filming you guys are probably gonna see this a little bit later but I kind of wanted to get you guys excited for fall and maybe you are an incoming freshman or maybe you're like around my age and you are taking pre-med classes or you have some of them left to take and you just wanna know how to study and which way to go about it. So I wanted to make your life a little bit easier because I know it would have made my life a lot easier if I had just gotten these tips and tricks. So we're gonna start with what I thought was my favorite course, biology. Like if you would have asked me before I went to college if I preferred bio or chem, I would have told you 100% biology and my SL was biology. So I took biology for like three years in high school every single year and I really liked it. I enjoyed the information and then I went to college and I hated biology. Predominantly memorization and it's a lot of memorization. Like when I tell you it's a lot, it's a lot. And at least at my university, when we took exams, they were very, very specific. So it wasn't like you can just, it wasn't like you just had to know the general concept. It was more like you had to know things in detail. I would recommend you study I would literally say two weeks before the exam. To some people that seems like super crazy. Like I, trust me, I know my first semester of college, I took bio one and I pretty much worked and I only studied like two days before the exam and it was not enough time. So let me tell you that you have to definitely dedicate a lot of time to biology. And I think it's something where it's like 50-50. Like some people think it's super easy and other people find it's difficult. You want to learn the material. You don't want to just memorize it. And I can I understand that like it's a lot of material and you're also probably studying for other classes. But make sure when you're taking bio, you just dedicate a lot of time to it. And at least like make sure you're keeping your notes and stuff because Bio is just such a core concept for a lot of classes and a lot of future classes, especially if you have to take bio too, like I had to. They were kind of linked to actually look up practice questions. So I looked up, I believe Kaplan and also Khan Academy um, practice questions online, they're available. Just because when it comes to biology, like it is so specific, like you might think you know a concept, but until you sit down and actually like answer questions, that's the only way you know. That's the only way you know what you know. I studied by myself for this course, which is very different than how I studied for chemistry, so we're gonna get into that. But for bio, I do feel like you have to study by yourself because it's just so specific and like, it's not something where I feel like you can work out in groups. Like, I feel like for me, I had to study bio by myself and you know, other people are different. And I only use study groups when I had to do like test corrections. Well, not that we had to do test corrections, but only if I wanted to know like what I got wrong on an exam. Um, then I studied with someone or like went to study group, but usually I was doing bio by myself. After bio one, I feel like I got the hang of how bio works. So bio two was not that bad for me. So another subject that everyone loves to talk about in organic chemistry, it's also just called general chemistry one, general chemistry two, chemistry one, okay. So I was really nervous to take chem, so what I did was I took bio one, bio two, and then I did my chemistry sequence. So, you know, people usually, you can do whatever you want, you know, when you're planning your schedule. I just, like I said, I thought that I liked bio more, so I took bio one and bio two first, and then I started taking my chemistries. Chem one is that subject, let me tell you. At least at a lot of state schools in Florida, it is that subject where like, you either do well or you fail. <laughs> like there was really like very little leeway, at least at USF and UF, I know that chem was like at, at times a little impossible, but I actually enjoyed chem more than I thought I was going to. Chemistry is honestly pretty math based. The only real way to study for chem is to do the practice problems and I hate math. <laughs> so you can imagine how you know annoyed I was that I had to do 
the practice problems all the time but literally that's the only way you're gonna learn you have to do the practice problems at least in your study guides i would include how to you know convert from like moles to mass like i would have like every formula that i needed like written down so i recommend doing that um that's what worked for me at least i would take notes and then I would also, like I would take notes the same way I would take notes for biology, which is just like general information, like things you have to know. But then I would do a lot of practice problems. Unlike bio, for chem, I like to study with other people just because for chem, I felt like chem is different than bio. Like chem, you can actually solve the problem. Like it's not like memorization. You actually have to like solve things out. And I feel like that's why it's better to work in groups because usually there's like certain steps and like sometimes you can do um, certain steps like converting and stuff incorrectly so working in a group or working with a tutor would be more beneficial for chemistry I think over bio so let's get into some of the upper level courses that are going to be required the prereqs for orgo are bio and chem usually um, especially chem it depends what school you go to. Sometimes you have to take biology first, chem one and chem two, and then that's your prereq. At USF, I believe chem two is the only prereq for orgo. And I think um, college algebra or something. It is a heavy memorization course. You know, it really depends, but I feel like these are all very application-based. Um, I think biology is probably the only class, like general biology is the only class where you can kind of get away with just like learning things without really applying them but <laughs> not with chem at all something that's really important for this class is like drawing and labeling so if you could like memorize the carbon backbones and stuff like that that would be really important drawing and memorization so like just i would say practice problems for this class is really important and because it is application based like you can like learn a concept but then you really have to know how to apply it and that's kind of where it's a little bit more difficult so study time for orgo one and two i would say because you have to like learn the information and then like learn how to apply it i would probably say like two weeks i think two weeks is like my estimated you should probably start studying two weeks before your exam for everything physics so i actually haven't taken physics and i just asked i asked my friends who have taken physics what their thoughts were for this class i've just heard a lot of very scary things about physics it is really that class where either you understand and you do really well or you fail <laughs> at least at my university that's really what it is so physics is a scary class because if you look at my professors, every professor seems like horrible. At least from what I gathered, practice problems are really important. Um, physics is just kind of that class, especially with the lab, where you can learn something, but like, but like not like just knowing the concept isn't going to be enough. Like you have to keep doing practice problems to like understand how to apply the concept. And I would recommend honestly Khan Academy for probably like everything because it is so nice that like the concepts are laid out. You can hear someone explain the concept again, maybe if your professor didn't do that great of a job, then you're also able to uh, see someone do practice problems. Biochem is another one, um, a mixture of biology and inorganic and organic chemistry, I believe. Um, you learn about like the Krebs cycle, amino acids, stuff like that. It's really similar to like ANP and chem where you have to not just learn the concept but like also memorize like the way things work and memorize like graphs and pictures are really important. So something that I feel like is not stressed enough is taking time out for yourself and doing things that you like. Just finding ways to make what you do more enjoyable. Obviously school and having a hard major is not always fun and easy and cute as everyone wants to make it look. So one of the things that I like to do is find cute places to study. I study probably every single day except for Sundays. Well on Saturdays I will try to pick up some of my friends and go to a cool coffee shop or just somewhere that's not the library. It really elevates my mood to be in a coffee shop or somewhere that looks really nice. And especially if you're doing something that you don't really like to do, like studying all the time isn't that fun. It definitely gives you something to look forward to. And I've just discovered new places. Sometimes I'll even pick up and go to another university that my friends are at. So I'll go to UF. 
when, when does it do that? Or UCF or something, and I'll just visit my friends and study with them. That's what you woke up thinking about.